coming to the famous, now nice and slowly baby, slowly baby. This is the famous Dodoma sign, and this is where we lose Tanzania's best tarmac road with a sudden a drop. That's the drop. <laughs> And I guess we should be saying welcome to the Doma. Um, we'll start filming. We've got a little dirt track along here to take for a while. That's the little petrol tanker. And we'll miss him. Uh, I'll come back to you as soon as we reach the metropolis. Uh, we're still on the little way to the metropolis. As you can see up there, that is the Doma's communication satellite system. Uh, this Still on the way to Metropolis is one of the construction lorries and if we can get and on the side of the road we will see it's Frelani Imprestelli. Gentlemen, this is the Doma. As you can see there's not an awful lot here and the road after that lovely tarmac road is not quite the same either. We've just turned into the High Street. Uh, Doma comprises of the High Street. And from what I can make out, that is all. So for those of intrepid explorers, which have included Shami Grimstead, who wish to come and see the future capital of Tanzania, this is it. And one needs to ask oneself whether it is worth the journey. That appears to be the bus stand over there. Uh, darling, what's this building here on the left-hand side? Cathedral. That's the cathedral. Uh, the Ministry of Cooperatives is down here on the right, down there. Um, that was Jane as well. Straight over, yes. We're going to, and then off to the left there. That. The Doma is actually quite old. It was first recommended as the... To the left, on the left, left, straight down there. It was first recommended as the capital of Tanzania in 1913 by the Germans. Uh, and that looks like a German church there. Okay. Uh, the road is, is still not very good, so I'm not quite sure how this film will turn out. We are now going over the railway line. By the way, we have passed through Dodoma. Um, we're now going left. Left. <laughs> we're not going left. Is this the way to the hotel, baby? No, the hotel was down there. Do you want to go there? I wanted to go. We are, we're now making a second attempt at the roundabout. Wait, we won't even get to Shemang. We're now making a second attempt at the roundabout. There's the railway crossing that we just came over just missed the kids and for those of us lucky to be able to stay at a hotel the hotel is down here on the right hand side it is the Dodoma Hotel and it is opposite the railway station uh, this is the only sign of life that we have seen in Dodoma and it is of course where all the general managers of the Paris Dayton stay uh, where is the hotel darling there we are is that the hotel there we are, the famous Dodoma Hotel. We seem to be making an entry. <laughs> uh, please note all the nice expensive cars here. Uh, anybody who's anybody stays here. Mind you, that's a private one, but earlier this morning the place was full of parastatal and government vehicles. I can't either, but it's interesting. Opposite the hotel is the Dodoma railway station, and you can hear that there's a train in there. I can't see it. There we go. Sign of activity. Okay, well, okay, this is the beginning of the Dodoma Singida Road, which we're going to. Um, we've just parked outside the Fahari Bottlers, and I believe that this is the JV bottling plant up here which they may be considering as a brewery. The road is very potholed already, very tough on the suspension. Lots and lots of deep bumps in it. This 
is the road. So I start by shaking your hand and you say, hello, how are you? Fine, and how do you do? You're, you're, you're tracking from where? From Dar es Salaam? I'm tracking from Dar es Salaam to Kigali. To Kigali. Yeah. And how long does it take you to drive from Dar es Salaam to Kigali? Almost a week. Seven One week? Days. Seven days? Yeah. And where, where, which places do you stop every night? Every night. Uh, if I start off from Dar es Salaam, yeah. um, I sleep at the Doma. The Doma? On um, the morning time, early, yeah. around 6 o'clock. Yeah. Then I, I move. You move? Yeah. And so it's taken you from 6 o'clock till now to get to here? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have to sleep at Singida. Singida? Yeah. Tonight? Tonight. It's yeah. four dishes. Yeah. And then from Singida up to Igunga. Igunga? Yeah. Yeah. From Igunga again up to Kahama. To Kahama? From Kahama straight away up to Rusanga. That's the border? No, near oh, the border. Near the border. Almost 96 kilometers to reach the border. Right. Then after then, I crossed the border. Right. On the day, I crossed the border direct to Kigali. Because direct to Kigali? The, from the border to Kigali, it's 167 kilometers. So it's not too far? It's not too far. And do you get much trouble at the border? No, no, no. You don't get a trouble. You don't get any problem. No problem. Provided you've got the documents. Yeah. And if you are carrying container, containers are filled. Yeah. There's no any problem. And so how many documents do you have? Um, we should have a transit. Yeah. Transit entry. Yeah. And C that is C for the at the 6, I think. Right. And then you have to get a C12. It yeah. shows that um, the goods are, are exported from out of the country. Right. Transit Tanzania. Transit. To Kigali. Yeah. And then you have to get a... a of, I mean, of the, of the goods. Right. Then and, then you're, and then you come. Yeah. And how many trucks have... Uh, Jetta Enterprises. Jetta Enterprises have got uh, 50 trucks. 50 trucks? Yeah. And how many trucks go to Kigali? We usually go to Kigali according to the... According to orders? The according to orders. Yeah. And we, we don't go to Kigali only. We go so many countries. So many countries? Yeah, we used to go so to Malawi. Yeah. We go to Zambia, Zaire. Zaire. Yeah. Burundi? Burundi also. Bujumbura? Bujumbura, yeah. Do you go through Kigali? Or no, 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 no. Uh, we just cross here the shortcut because cross, yeah. um, people, they are afraid of the road. But yeah. we, 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 do, we are not much worried because we know that the trucks, they are very powerful. You, now, so, this is a Mercedes. This is Mercedes Benz 2624. 2624. Yeah. So this is tough. This is tough, yeah. And what other lorries do you see going to Kigali? What makes? Um, there are so many types of the truck. There are Scania, yeah. Benz, Benz, um, Leyland? No, no, no. Actually, there's no any Leyland. No, Leyland. No, Leyland. No, no. um, what do you think of Scania? Scania is more powerful and better truck. Than Mercedes? Yeah. What, the 113? Yeah, 113. It's very powerful. Scania is the best lorry. Uh, Scania is the best lorry because the, I mean the horsepower of a Scania, Scania. and one, uh, 113 yeah. is 310 to 320 horsepower. Yeah. And Mercedes Benz, if it is turbocharger, yeah. it is 280. 280 horsepower. Yeah. So Scania is more powerful. It's more powerful. Yeah. Now if you just, if you show us. This is the, this is your lorry. Yep. And you're carrying general cargo here, are you? Yeah. I'll, I'll come with the coffee. Ah, so it's mainly coffee that you bring from yeah Kigali. from from Kigali. From Kigali. Coffee, tea. Yeah. Um, and some other equipment. 
Right. Of construction, if the yes. if they're finished, finishing yeah, construction, yeah, we can take the bit, then back. And this road, is there any places on the road which is difficult for this lorry to drive? No, no, no. Not That's even right. when the rains. If it, if the rains, if this is the rain season. Yeah. So in the in the rain season, there there is a problem of um, the soil. Soil. Okay, yeah. battery flash. Get wet. Okay. Um, it become too much wet. Right. So if the truck doesn't have two dips. Yeah. So it's a problem to. So it must have climb. the two dips yeah. for climbing. Yeah, for climbing. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And What's I, your name? My name is Roy. Roy. Yeah. My name is Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. Well, Mohammed, you've been very helpful. Okay. And this this video comes out. Yeah, yeah. We can contact you. Okay. Thank you. Show your topic. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. My name is Mohammed Omar. Mohammed Omar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You press the button again, then. Right. We are a little further down from the interview. We can see the open plains type of landscape. It is very flat with mountains in the distance. We think there is a marsh. And here is the road ahead. This is very typical of most of the road that we have traveled so far. You can see that it's mainly sand track, single track with ruts on each side. It's actually not too bad, quite a smooth drive with the occasional large hole uh, and you can see that that is a very flat thornscapey landscape driving 